Welcome! In front of me is a Nothing Phone 2A, and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your Do Not Disturb mode. So to get started, let's swipe down from the top of the screen to bring out our notifications, and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Now on one of the pages you should have a Do Not Disturb toggle. For me it is on the second page right over here. Once you see it, and you're doing this the first time, I recommend holding it. This will quickly take you to the settings where you can customize how it will function once enabled. Now quickly going over the options that we have access in here, we have things like people, which allows you to select who can call you or message you, and calls has the additional option of allow repeated callers. If someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period with, it, with this being enabled, they will bypass whatever you have selected right over here. So as an example, you can have it oops, set to none, so no one should be able to call you with this mode being enabled, but assuming they do it twice, they're just kind of going to ignore this option. Now, if you're wondering, this option might be fairly useful for emergency purposes. Now, going back, we have also things like alarms and other interruptions and ops, which would be excluded by do not disturb mode when enabled. And then below that, we have more important ones like schedule. You can select a fully automatic schedule, so start and end time and also days of the week. And if you're planning to use schedules, just make sure that it is enabled right here. Obviously, you can create new ones outside of the ones that are added by default. Uh, but once you set them up, just make sure that it is toggled on with this little toggle on the side. Going back, we have things like duration for quick settings. This defines what happens when you toggle on your do not disturb mode manually. Now, I personally like to select it on the middle option, which is uh, time specific. Default is one hour, but I can increase it to something, for instance, like four hours. And when enabled, this will make it so when you toggle on your do not disturb mode, it will get enabled for exactly the set amount of hours, which in my case, it's four. And the reason I like this option is because other options like until you turn it off or ask every time, ask every time just kind of brings up this window every time with the two options, might get annoying. Uh, until turn off just kind of permanently enables it till you turn it off yourself. So if you forget about it, obviously it will then just keep on running in the background and keep uh, just muting or not even showing up that someone is, for instance, trying to call you or message you or whatever you have selected. So I personally like to select it on the timer just so if I forget about it, the device will automatically turn it off after uh, after like set amount of hours, which I consider four hours to be relatively long enough time to cover whatever the need for it I will have, plus a little bit of time extra assuming I forgot about it. Because with this being enabled, I can still turn off the hot, uh, not hot, but do not disturb mode myself, assuming I remember about it. And last thing, we have the display options for hidden notifications. So just how the notifications are being displayed. Anyway, and as you've seen me uh, do already on the video, to enable or disable your do not disturb mode, just simply tap on it, turn it on and off. And if you're using the schedule mode, uh, I'll also show that. Just make sure that the toggle next to the specific schedule is toggled on and the device will do everything else for you. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.